Hello. I'm gonna be showing you how I get my very like mermaid hair beach waves. And this literally takes me like 10 minutes. It's confusing in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it in like 10 minutes. Also, I'm in like a really nice hotel right now, and I was like, this is perfect time to film this video, so then the background is pretty. But you are gonna need a curling iron, and I use one with a clamp. I mean, you could still create beach waves without a clamp, but for what I do and the technique I use, you definitely want one with a clamp. And this is the Bio Ionic Curling Iron. I've seen a lot of hairstylists use this. This is a very big one that they use for like the beach waves wave look and I have a 1.25 inch barrel so I only go up to like 280 on this thing you don't really need your curling iron to be that hot and beach waves are supposed to fall they're supposed to be waves not curls so you can get away with using less heat than doing curly curly hair because like if you want your curls to stay it sometimes works better when you use more heat I just use 280 and that usually works fine for me so when it's heating up it's actually already heated up it heats up like really quickly. I'm gonna go in with a few products. This is third day hair, I'm pretty sure. I like doing beach waves on dirtier hair. It can kind of hide your hair looking a mess. I'm first gonna go with Dream Coat, and I kind of just like to use this whenever I go in with heat. It just makes my hair so much shinier and softer. And I am doing this on blow dried hair, but it's the same exact thing when I do this on my natural hair as well. generous with that stuff. Now I'm gonna be going in with heat protectant and I don't ever use heat on my hair without some kind of heat protectant. There is silicone in the dream coat. So I mean, if something has silicone in it, it pretty much is a heat protectant, but this is my favorite heat protectant. It doesn't feel like there's a bunch of stuff in your hair because that is my least favorite thing about heat protectant. And that is one of the main reasons why I didn't use it for so long because it made my hair feel gross. But this one is really, really good. The sprayer is kind of weird like for this consistency. Like I would rather want it to be a pump so I sprayed in my hands and then kind of put that all over my hair, especially my ends. I'm going to take a little more and go on my bangs and stuff, especially because you style bangs more than the rest of your hair. You do not want that to have more damage because then they're just going to be like riding up, riding up, riding up. I just do from the bottom up, so I take a section from the back of my ears going straight back and then just clipping off this section but you want to make sure your hair is like really detangled before going with this with any like clamp like with a straightening iron like that flat iron it's not called a straightening iron with a flat iron and something like this you always want to make sure there's no tangles in your hair because when you're going on it you're pretty much going to be straightening or curling like knots in your hair and there can be like little like weird crimps and stuff especially at the ends i go in with a section like this i guess that's like an inch section this is my left side so for this side i'm going to be taking my pointer finger to press on this if you want more of like a natural wave look you can do them in different directions but the surrounding around my face i like to do away because it just kind of like looks the best definitely practice this before you do it with this off it will make it so much easier you don't just want to keep doing it over and over again with this on you clamp it you turn it away from your face hold it there for a second then you're going to undo that curl glide it down spin it hold undo glide it spin it hold undo and you can leave your ends out I just like go like that and I know that seems like really confusing I'm telling you when you get the hang of it you will be able to do it like so quick but yeah honestly I think the biggest tip is to just learn how to do it with the curling iron off and that kind of goes with anything like I tell people that also with blowouts and stuff like how to use the brushes it's just easier to learn that stuff with it off so then you're not just putting a bunch of unnecessary damage on your hair and you don't really want to hold for a long time I kind of just do different sizes along the way and i mean the bottom ones don't really matter because these fall the most i'm 
I'm going to show you just how I do it on this side as well because I know it can be confusing. So for my right side, I'm going to be going in with my thumb for this one. The rule of thumb with this is you always want this part to be in front if you're doing away from your face. Put it, turn, oh, Loki just burned my ear, okay. And I know this curling iron is a bit pricier, but I'm gonna be honest, I definitely suggest investing in curling irons, blow dryers, round brushes, all that jazz. Ones that are more expensive because it means that their heat settings are more accurate. The difference between cheaper tools and more expensive tools is cheaper tools are made with cheaper materials, obviously, and along with that, the heat settings aren't as accurate, the materials that are used aren't as good for your hair. And when you're paying for something that is more expensive, like the Dyson, you're paying for the technology, the materials, and my favorite part of more expensive heating tools are that they regulate heat better. So like if it says 280, it is 280. But if this was like no shade, but like a cone air curling iron from Target, it could say 280 and then it's actually like 350 degrees on your hair. If you use heat on your hair all the time, invest in good hair tools. I actually just ran out of a product that I like to use when doing beach waves and I'm gonna put it right here. This is my favorite product to go in with. It's just a texture spray and especially if you have like pin straight hair and your hair does not hold a curl, this will definitely give you more texture and it'll help keep that wave in there for like three days. But I don't have that right now and this is the only thing I have and it's the way wave spray. So we're gonna test this out. This could be a fail. Hope it gives it a little bit more texture. My hair holds curls and stuff really well, so it's usually fine. I've gone in with nothing before. So literally just gonna flip that back and then we are going to take another section down. For the next section, I go just like at my, I don't even know what that is, like widow's peak right there. And you just wanna make sure it's a detangle. I didn't say this, but you guys saw, I didn't brush through the curls. I leave them like that until they're cool, but the longer I usually leave them like that, the better it is because they just kind of set in place. The first two I'll do away from my face, but then when I get to like past my ear, I'll start going in different directions. So for this one, I'm gonna go towards my face. So I'm gonna go in with my thumb so that the clamp is on the back of the hair and just do the same exact thing, just towards my face. And this just gives more dimension in the hair. It looks really good if you have highlights and stuff too. And I think that's why most hairstylists do this. It also can hide like really bad haircuts and dye jobs. Now that I did that one towards, I'm gonna do this one away. And then I'm gonna do this one towards my face again. And if you have an issue with your curls always looking weird in the back, like there's almost like a split in the back of your head because you do everything away from your face, this will make that disappear because it kind of like connects it. Moving on to the other side, doing of course the face framing away from my face. going away from my face again. I like to do the two first ones away because I feel like it like makes your face shape look better. I don't know. But then when I curl my hair, like when I do like a curly blowout, I do it towards my face. Doesn't really make sense. Now we're gonna do this one towards my face. Away from my face. Towards my face. And then away 
from my face. Spray that. Put it to the back and then we're going to do the same exact thing for the top section, but I will be leaving my bangs out. I do this because I like my bangs to still be done with a round brush. I always have a middle part, but I really love beach waves with a middle part the best. This part of my hair is so much shorter because of my layers. For the top section, I do go a little closer to the root because I just want to give that kind of bevel right here to give the illusion that it's like it just gives a little bit more volume in the roots as well. Also, I'm like trying to do this in the mirror, but my camera's like right here, so I can't really see. That's why I'm like, ooh. I have an entire video on how I style my curm bangs and cut my curm bangs, but pretty much I split them in two. I'm gonna be rolling the back section back and the front section forward. And I'm just going in with the Amica round brush. I did cut my bangs shorter, so they're a lot harder to style now. And I am gonna be going in with rollers. And you do not need to do this. You can just curl them exactly like how we curled the hair away from the face. But I don't know, my bangs are too short to curl now. And then they just like stick out weirdly on the side. So my camera's about to die. I'm gonna let my hair sit like this, like without brushing it for like 10 to 15 minutes when I do my makeup. I just finished my makeup off camera and I do that so that these can sit for longer. Taking a wide tooth comb, I'm just gonna comb through them and I don't wanna do it with a brush because it kinda can make them fall. Take these out. Let's pray that our bangs are not ugly today. Like I feel like that looks better than with the waves, but instantly just like, you have so much volume and you look like you just came back from getting your hair done by a hairstylist. I am going to take a little bit of hair oil because this hair look can just look really dry and just go like on my mids and ends just to make it look healthy. And I feel like this is one of the most like low maintenance but like high maintenance looking things. And there you go mermaid summer beach waves and then you don't have a weird crease like in the middle of your head in the back because you did them in different directions so universal they look good on long hair short hair they look good on everybody but i'm actually rushing to leave somewhere so that is the end of the video i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye i don't know if you like the way i put my words together but i need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers or like birds to scales